Okay. As mentioned, I love casseroles. Um, we eat a lot of chicken in our house, so I'm always looking for a new, fun, different chicken casserole recipe. This one is tried and true, super easy breezy. It's one of those that you don't have to, you know, there's just, there's just, it's no muss, no fuss. Um, you don't have to pre-brown the chicken. You don't have to cook it or shred it or anything like that. We're actually going to start with uh, four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And we're also going to spray our casserole dish with cooking spray. That's really important unless you want to be doing dishes forever today, which the show's about saving time, so we don't want to be doing that. So into our casserole dish that's been sprayed with cooking spray, we're going to lay our four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And if you aren't taking the time to brown them, I do think it's always a good idea just to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Thanks, Ann. Or garlic salt. Is, I do love my garlic salt. Garlic salt and pepper would work great, too. All right, Ann, we'll do a little garlic salt just for you. I talk about this a lot. When I was growing up, um, our go-to seasoning in our house was garlic salt. With you know, for my, you know, my mom got that, but that was handed down from my grandmother because we didn't have the fresh herbs that we do. Or if we did, they just weren't available. I'm, I'm sure we had them, but people didn't cook with them as much. Um, and so, you know, fresh garlic. Uh, my mom wasn't in there chopping fresh garlic, so this would be our hint of garlic in different recipes. And I still use it today if you're in a pinch, and it really is a, a great way. To season different things. Okay, so chicken breast down in the dish. Now we're going to make a quick sauce, and the sauce starts with one can of cream of chicken soup. And I know people give me a hard time about using my cream soups, but they're a great shortcut, and they really work nicely in casseroles. Now, one of the things you'll find about my casseroles is um, they have a little bit more liquid than the casseroles you may be used to or those old church cookbook casseroles which I still do happen to love but a lot of them need some updating and kind of uh, need to take them to another level so we're going to add one full cup of milk and that's going to ensure that this casserole is nice and creamy and not dry as an Arizona desert especially when you're using rice potatoes or pasta in a casserole um, keep in mind that those things really tend to soak up the liquid. So if you, uh, you know, ha are using those things, go with a little extra liquid. I'm using milk. We're keeping this recipe really, really easy breezy. But in a lot of my casserole recipes, I may add a little bit of dry white wine just to kind of punch up the flavor of that chicken soup. But as mentioned, we're going to keep this recipe super simple. So I'm just going to whisk together my one can of cream of chicken soup and one cup of milk. And I know it looks like a lot of liquid now, but it's going to form a really nice gravy. Form a nice gravy. Oh yes, it will not be dry. Be nice and creamy. And if you want to, because we used a little salt and pepper anyway, we could throw a little pepper in here. It's up to you. Okay. It's a Swiss chicken bake, so here's where the Swiss comes in. We've got four pieces of Swiss cheese that we just got from the deli, and we're going to top our chicken, each piece, with a nice piece of Swiss cheese. I do a cordon bleu casserole that's um, got some ham in there, and that would be a nice thing to add, too, to add some thin slices of deli ham underneath that cheese. So next goes, we just kind of pour this right over the top, the chicken soup mixture. One of the things I like about casseroles is that it's all in here. Um, so you don't need to, a whole bunch of different side dishes. I just usually toss a salad together, maybe throw um, some bread in the oven and, and call it a day. So it's all right there. So you don't have to have a bunch of different side dishes, a bunch of different things going on. Um, but you can certainly make a nice salad and this is really going to be a delicious meal. Okay. Now, my casserole's got to have a good crunchy over the top. And so I'm always coming up with different fun um, crunchies to put over the top of my casseroles. One of the things I love to do is use crushed up potato chips at the bottom of the bag, crushed up pretzels, crushed up croutons, make a great casserole topping, uh, corn flakes, 
buttery crackers. Uh, so, you know, you may have certain things around the house that already make great casserole toppers. This one um, is going to be a dried stuffing mix, and I'm using chicken flavor. This is sage, um, but it really is going to actually form like a, a, a stuffing on the, on the top. You don't need to prepare it according to package directions. You're just going to use the dry. And I'm also going to melt some butter. One stick of butter that we're going to drizzle over this stuffing. So it's going to be kind of crunchy and yummy all at the same time. And by the way, I hope you've been reading our book club book. And if you haven't, it's still not too late. So go out and get it. You can pick it up at the bookstore. You can get it on your Nook. You can get it on your, or your Kindle. Uh, and just join our book club. It's so much fun. We're reading a book called The Orphan Train. And uh, so it should be very, very easy to find. It's, it's a relatively new book, and it's getting wonderful reviews. It's a historical fiction. So uh, it's a fiction, but it, you actually can learn a little bit about um, uh, a certain part in our history. It's very unique. A lot of people don't know about it. Um, so it, it's just great fun. The Bottle Room in Swamico is the sponsor of our book club right now. They do a great job. They put out lots of different snacks and give us a great space. Uh, we'd, we've been meaning to have one, one of our meetings outside, but um, the first earlier book club meeting it was too cold. The last book club meeting it was too hot. So who knows? September 11th, it may be just perfect and we can maybe have it outside. So 530 Thursday, September 11th is when we're meeting, so you got a good couple of weeks. Um, the one thing we do ask is that you call and reserve your spot so they know how many people are coming. And the number to call is right there on the screen. It's 920-661-9463. Okay, so I'm just going to melt my butter in the microwave. And later in the show, we were doing um, another uh, five ingredient recipe. Breakfast for dinner is sometimes the fun things to do, especially the kids love that. So we've got a great recipe that you can do for breakfast or dinner, five ingredients or less. And we also have two super duper simple dessert recipes um, that you can throw together in less than five minutes. So just some fun different ideas. Okay, so now at this point, we're gonna take this dry stuffing mix and we're gonna put it right over the top of our casserole. And we're going to take the melted butter. Are we melted? Yes, we are. And we're just going to drizzle that right over the top. Now, at this point, we want to cover this casserole with foil and get it into a 350 degree oven where it's going to bake for about 50 minutes. We want those chicken breasts to cook through. Then the last 15 minutes or so, we're going to uncover it just to crisp up that stuffing just a little bit. So let's see where we're at. At this point, this has been in here for a while. I just want to take the cover off carefully, pot, and just, oh, it looks really good and start browning up, starting to bubble a little bit. So now at this point, I want to just brown up that stuffing and I'll pull it out and show you how it looks in just a minute. The chicken gets tender as all get out, baked in that nice sauce. The cheese gets all melty. And then that um, stuffing is just a great side dish and it gets a little crunchy on top too. Nice salad, loaf of bread and, or some fruit and you can call it a day. A really nice, quick, easy weeknight dinner. And we'll put the recipe on the website.